going to show you how to replace the broken pop-up. What you can see here is as I pull the pop-up, this should work the pop-up, but the pop-up's not working. So to get this out of here, if you use a small flat blade screwdriver to get underneath here, which sometimes isn't that easy. I may need a, a smaller one. Got a smaller one here on my Leatherman, so between the two of these, should be able to get this up. There we go. And it looks like the bottom's just broken off the pop-up. There's a number of different types of pop-ups. What I've got here is there's a couple different sizes of universal pop-ups, as well as a standard pop-up, which it looks like this one had the standard one here. It looks like this one is gonna fit a larger universal pop-up. Down below here, we can see our linkage and everything is, is set up properly. So that's all set. And now it's going to be a matter of undoing the pop-up nut here to remove the pop-up rod and position the pop-up rod through the, through the pop-up. So we can just loosen this through our channel locks. And I'm going to want to try to recover the piece of the pop-up that... Somewhere. Oh no, it looks like the pop-up rod itself is broken. So if that's not long enough, we may need to replace the pop-up itself. Oh yeah. Oh darn. So I'm going to need to regroup and replace the pop-up rod also. Since our pop-up is broken off here, we've got a variety of different methods that we can replace this with. We can try replacing it with a different nut and clip as long as the thread size is the same. Or what we can do is just replace the pop-up rod here. I've got a larger ball, but it's got a larger diameter rod. Now that'll work for us as long as the, the back clip, we can reuse that with this particular one I can. But the other important thing is that the ball and socket will fit into the pop-up, which this one appears to. So, okay, hook this up and test this out here. This will insert into there and we're able to tighten the clip down. So that's good. On the other side of this, what we want to do is insert our new pop-up. I'm going to try to use this what should be a universal pop-up and feel for it and insert the rod into the holes that are in the back of the rod. That's on the second setting and that's not very universal is it? It's not popped up high enough and that's on the first setting so obviously this isn't universal enough for us. We can try the smaller one and that works pretty good. And I can try this standard one setting one here. So it's going to be whichever one gives us the best fit. That looks pretty good there. I think we're going to go with this one. It seems more straightforward how it should be. So now on the bottom, I get my thread started and make sure it's not cross-threaded. Take it down there. And finger tighten this down here. Check it for leaks. Turn the water on up above. And just feeling here for any leaks. Now what I'm gonna do is 
push the pop up in so that it pulls the pop up down and we can fill the sink a little bit and then go ahead and once it's pretty full release it and this way it's a pressure test to test for any leaks and we're good here no leaks sink is draining good like it should. Now it's just going to be a matter of setting up the pop-up rod here. Okay. I'm going to push the pop-up rod to where I want it up top. Uh -oh. Houston, we have a problem. This rod is not going to fit through our clip here. So we can either widen that up a little bit or we can go with a different uh, rod style. I think we're going to need to go with a different rod style. Okay. Back to the drawing board here. Re remove our nut here. slip this off. I've got a smaller smaller diameter rod here. It's an attempt to reuse that. My concern is the ball is a little bit smaller but as long as we can make it happen with no leaks. Again I'm holding the pop-up and inserting that into the hole of the pop-up and verifying that I can pop it up. Up and down like so. Which I can so. Take care not to get this cross threaded. And the question is, is it going to put enough pressure on the ball to prevent it from leaking? Uh, no, it's not. So this is not going to work for us. This is just going to leak like a sieve. That one's not going to work. There was just too much movement in there. So I have one more here, which the ball size seems similar to the original ball size. Oh, it seems a little bit similar. Again, I've clipped the new, new one in there. Seems to have enough pressure on the ball. As well as it, everything works properly up top here. It's a just a pop up. So we can tighten everything down. Down below, we're going to go ahead and leak test this. Operate this without any leaks here. And you can, so that's good. So I'm going to go ahead and pressure test it. Just by 
filling up the sink. And while that's filling, I can get the rod set up in the back. Go ahead and turn the water off. Here's our rod clip for the back. And pull the plug. Up top, I'm going to position it pretty much where we want it. Like so. So that we know what we're working with here. So this is where we want it in this hole here. I'm going to slip the Oh, you can't see that, can you? Let's try it this way. I'm going to slip the front part of the clip through here and then the back part of the clip around here. So that's going to hold it in place here. And that clip is not very good. I'm trying a different clip here. stronger so it's not going to come down on us. Okay, now I can control it from the top rod, which is what we want. So everything works here. Now we can pressure test this. So fill up the tank. Looks like it's time for a new aerator there too. I'm guessing it's missing the screen. I don't know, you tell me, I can't see it from that way. So. Okay. I can show you a video in the future on the aerator. You'd be surprised how much an aerator can stop your hot water from flowing through. I have to show you that in a different video. Okay, so now for the leak test, we're gonna go ahead and pull the plug here and feel for any leaks here. I'm looking for any leaks. Okay, no leaks there. We're good to go. Anyway, that's how to replace a pop-up. Up here we can remove the blue film, so we've got a nice brand new working pop-up. Good to go. You did have any leaks, but everything was holding securely here. One way you can get around it is to wrap it with Teflon tape. Teflon tape comes in really handy for wrapping the threads and sealing any small, tiny leak. So that's how to replace the pop-up and the pop-up rod.